Okay. Welcome back, everybody. So we're going to do part two now. So we have... Well, last time we finished off with another war with Novgorod. And hold on one second. Why is there no music now? Why is there no music? Oh, yeah, there it is. Now I hear it. Alright, that's alright. I was a little worried something's wrong there, but it's all good. Now, from memory, I was starting to... Oh, yeah, I was up in relations with these people, so... Negative 25, because I recently annexed, but same religion. Yep, 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 cool. Alright, so mercenaries, still the same. Probably going to get some... Regan Separatists that are going to spawn, but let's not worry about that. They're not too much. It's only 11k. And they may not spawn. We'll see. But religion, our missionary strength still particularly low. What can we do for this? High Patriarch Authority will decrease local unrest. You can concentrate... You can consecrate a metropolitan state to get 5 plus Patriarch Authority. That's okay, um, maybe we should just do that in Muscovy. Uh, cause that's in the... give it to estates. You edict, there it is. Uh, so they said we could... consecrate? Right? Maybe not. Oh, consecrate, there we go. Doesn't really cost me much. And that just gives me straight up Patriarch power, doesn't it? Oh, that's nice. I should do that in Muscova. I should do that over here in what is basically, you know. Oh, that's not counted as metropolitan. Are any of these? Maybe not. Okay. So, I didn't actually know you could do that. That's cool. I, I like that I know that now. Now, um... It's a naval doctrine. Capture enemy ships. It would cost me zero. Don't want to capture enemy ships. Trade power. Galley. Naval maintenance down by 15%. I think I want that one, actually. Make my navy a bit cheaper. Not that I have one yet. But let's make sure that when we do get one, we can actually afford to run it. Okay, so we'll lower the rebels. Lower autonomy. Because there's no real reason not to. We'll leave the military ones for now. Alright, yeah, so he's improving relations with them, so we can annex them. Oh, my headset's dying. I need to plug that in. Sorry. Um, Alright, there we go, that's on. So now, what did I want to do this time? This time I wanted to finish Novgorod, but I believe, yeah, we're currently in a peace until, yeah, 15 years now, so it'll be a little bit till we can do that. Well, mothball forts, while I remember to do it. That ups our ducats quite a bit. Um, Alright, so our subjects, yeah, they're all well and truly within our power now. Diplomacy. I'm still friends with Bohemia. Not the best of friends, but we are friends. Man, I want to tear Paul and Lithuania apart, but I don't think I should take that. It'd just be a bit much at the minute. Maybe we could try Sweden. They're still in a personal union. Could we support independence? <sighs> wow, they're very loyal to Denmark and they do not like me. Okay, I guess not. Well then, I guess in that case... I mean, we've got a war goal against the Great Horde. Let's quickly fix up this army. Get that up to the... same as everyone else. While we wait for our manpower and that to build. We've become one of the Great Powers. Yep, that's good. And I'm thinking, how much more can we have in the art? Well, we can fit quite a bit. We also have a fair bit of extra money right now. So what I'm thinking is we stick five cannons 
into each of the armies, because that'll do huge things for our siege abilities and combat abilities and just everything. Cannons are just amazing. We should be able to afford it. Maybe I should have got a few less. Uh, I can afford it. I'm still in the positive technically, even if it's only a little bit. That's alright. We'll expand and we'll grow, so therefore we'll get more. Missionary strength plus two. Oh, we can actually convert provinces now. Uh, do it by time, so that's the fastest, that's the second fastest, put our priests on it. Go over there to the forts. And then I guess we just wait until we get enough manpower, because I'm not going to war down in the steps until I've got at least max manpower or close to it. Stability modifier, or should I wait for this one? So we're going to get there, 3% missionary strength. You know what, do that one, because we really want that missionary strength. That'll help us a lot. Especially considering down here in the steep, ad, well, the steep nomad lands, there's going to be a whole lot of uh, Muslims and stuff, Sunnis and people that we need to convert, which is going to be a bit painful. Why are our... Why is our money suddenly gone down? I mean, for now we're not at war and we're not going to be for a while, so let's just lower maintenance. Oh, the missionaries! Right, I sent out two missionaries. I forgot you've got to maintain them. That's where that extra money I had went. So they can do point one. They can do point one. Ooh, trade can go up a bit. I could wait till I have 500 and build a uh, grain manufactory. That's yeah, probably what I'll do, if I'm not ready to go to war by then, but we'll see. Our manpower is rising pretty fast. 41,000 is the max. Oh, 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 too many events at once, too many events. What's going on? Give me prestige. I don't want to lose out in the army. Forward to glory, yeah. Gives me... That yeah, gives me some good military bonuses, alright. We'll do it, even though it costs me money. That's alright. We're at risk of losing a great power status here. That's fine. I don't care about it. Apparently we've already lost it, but... St. George Day, restrict movement, or gain admin? I'd rather gain admin. Citizens flee the city? Okay. Sure. We're also very close to getting another reform, which would be really nice. And one of our military leaders just left us, so I have to use a bit of mill power to get another. We're quite a bit off getting the next military idea, or the next military tech anyway. Queen of our people, she looked after us. Five legitimacy. Missionary strength, there you go, that should also speed up. Yeah, look at that. They all went from like 70 down to 20. Oh, that's nice. They're also currently at war with Crimea and Kazan, and they're apparently winning. I don't really want to go to war until they win, because they may spread. Uh, give me admin and tax. Conversion successful, there it is. Convert the next two. Another diplomatic. Why not? Fifty admin, hell yeah. Has the following vassals rise and oh okay, I'm glad I checked that. Because that means that when we go to war, Ryzen here is going to turn against me, which is good, because I want to conquer that land anyway. I was just gonna focus on the horde first, but if they're together, I'll take them both. Citizens flee boundary issues with Lithuania. We're not going to war with Lithuania. Although, in saying that, we are actually at our max manpower, I just realised. I wonder how long that's been a thing. Let's put up our maintenance so we don't get butchered as soon as it starts. 
Because then we can, when we go to war, we can do war taxes. Oh yeah, and they're at war. That's right. That's why I haven't gone to war. I forgot. Yep. Lower it again. My bad. Lower it again and wait. Government reform. Two promoted cultures. Monthly autonomy. I think I'd prefer the autonomy to go down. There's going to be too many cultures in Russia as it is, so I'm never going to be able to keep them all happy. National manpower modifier or morale of armies? I think I'll take the morale. Conversion successful. Let's do it again. We're slowly turning this whole area that we conquered over here in, from Catholic to Orthodox. What do we get when we finish this? Clergy, monthly loyalty, and culture conversions. Not that great. True faith, prestige, missionary maintenance. That would be nice, actually, and day is fault. But I think at this point we'll wait for the next lot of the next tech. Uh, I do need the ten prestige, so I'll spend the money. So yeah, we'll get rid of that so it doesn't notify me and I don't forget what I'm doing. So they're still at war. They're still at war with just Nagai, and it looks like they're winning. That's alright, that's good though. Clergy, so all we've got to do is just bust our way in here as soon as that's over. I was going to build a manufactory, but now I'm kind of thinking if when I go to war I'm going to be out of money. Maybe I should save it. So that I can use it to slowly deplete instead of going instantly broke. It's probably the smarter option. Alright, and they're not at war anymore, so up the maintenance. Wait till our morale's back and then we'll declare war. They're also friends with... Who? Dulpakar? Hang on, where are they? Oh, that's interesting. Those people, they're not normally still alive by now. Normally, Kiara Kyunlu, Mamluks, and Ottomans have just swallowed them whole. Also, speaking of Ottomans, what's going on over here? Alright, sorry about that. I uh, just had a crash, so if that's why you see a bit of a jump in the video, that's why. I don't know why I looked over here and it crashed. For some reason, seeing the province occupied by Austria uh, broke my game. Don't know why, but okay. Austria also has conquered this lot. That's weird. Austria looks like it's going to be very powerful this game. It's allied with Brandenburg. Oh, wow, it's got some good allies. And Brandenburg's looking strong. Depending how they go about this, we may very well see a Prussia this game. Like, holy shit. Alright. That's alright. What we will do... Now... Army maintenance. So this was before we raised it. Alright, so we'll raise it again. So we worked out they had allies down there, but that's not a big deal. But they have a vassal in Ryazan. Must avoid indebting ourselves. Yeah, don't indebt ourselves and get some more prestige. We're nearly at 100. Which I don't actually remember what that does for you. National epic, jousting. Oh, yeah, it just gives you morale and just lots of good stuff, really. There's lots of bonuses. So the more the better. Military tech? You know what? I'll take that right before war. That seems like a good thing. What is their mil tech? Seven. What's mine now? Mine's eight. Alright, cool. Send out the missionaries again. And let's declare war. Wait, we only have a humiliate rival? Surely we've got... Wait. I thought for sure we'd have... Oh my god, hang on. Let's go convert... Covert. Shouldn't take long for us to get enough to quickly fabricate a claim and go in. I just, for sure, assumed we already had it. I'll take the Patriarch Authority. Yeah, we only have to hit 20, so we'll, we'll be there very soon. We are blowing out money, though, while we do this, which is a slight pain. Let's hope we have war taxes by now. Alright, Fabricate Claim. Tambov. Yes. Stop Spy Network. So I need that Diplomat. Now declare war for Tambov. There we go. Oh, Kazakh is on their side. Not Kazan, though. I've made that mistake before. Kazakh's like a little province that's down here. 
well, it's not a province. It's a small nation. It's like behind Nagai and Kazan. It may come over and help, but it's not big. I've been fooled before into confusing it with Kazan, and then you get really confused. So then you think this big nation's going to come in on you as well, but it's not. Also, they've nearly taken out from me. Jesus, they're actually doing really well this game. Yeah, let's just straight away... Those war taxes. It's not even enough to keep me out of the red. Oh god. We might go in debt in this war if it takes too long. Looks like we'll have to chill until that fortress falls. That's alright. Actually, we'll go back a province so we're not attritioning. Another tech. There we go. Yep. Let's get a military idea because I feel like we're going to need it. The quantity is always good for the manpower. I mean, you know, bigger armies, recovery speeds. Plus the maintenance goes down. I also kind of feel like we have a lot of manpower as it is right now. Maybe we're better off going for a more offensive one. Morale of armies. Maybe defense? Land maintenance down by 5%. That's nice. Fort defense, free force speed, land attrition. Ooh, that's nasty. Attrition for enemies plus one. Leader shock, fire. Prestige from battles. Then we'll go offensive. I think that's going to be a good choice. And now that we've got cannons in the army, destroying these castles should be a little bit faster than before. Which would be really nice, because it takes forever at the start. And take every ducat we can get, because god, we need it. Wow, where are their armies? They only have 24,000 men. It's looking like we're going to absolutely destroy them at this rate. I'll send the army with the general down that way. These guys can come down here. Looks like they're trying to escape me. Azov. Cuban. Oh. So we lost St. Michael, but that's just discipline. Like, right now, is there something else that would help more? Aggressive expansion, maybe? Yeah, actually, considering what we're about to do, lowering that by 10% would probably be really good. Also, convert those two provinces. What's our Patriarch? 35. Yeah, not great. I think we're using authority to actually recruit these bonuses. That would make sense. Maybe I should be more careful about using them. Maybe I don't necessarily always need them. Chase this army down. Get it out of here. I think we got him this time. Boom. Take that. Oh, and there's their actual army. Get up here to reinforce so we don't go in solo. Oh no, that was a combined army of all their forces. Oh well. Let's, uh... Kazark... No, you don't want to leave. No one wants to leave the war. Let's just see. What, what could we get off you? How far could we push you with this? So we want Tambov. We want that lot. And this lot, so you won't give us that much. See, you're going to have to, so we're going to keep fighting. Uh, more Patriarch Authority, yes. Let's get our forces up there. We need to cut off that army. That Great Horde army is bad. Ooh, Diplo Annex costs went down. That's nice. Speaking of Diplo Annex, I don't think we can do it while we're at war. No. Okay, that's alright. After the war, we'll do that. We're also, yep, we just took out a loan. Not great. Not ideal. Look, can I get access in here? It's running around your territory. It's killing me here. Yeah. Give me access so we can go in there after them. So they can't keep escaping through these lands. See, so where are they going? They're heading this way through Perm. 
are they? Oh, they're down here. I didn't even notice them. I think my leader just died again. at least the small reinforcing army. Need to kill this one. Yep, we got him. Oh, we didn't get the main one yet, but we will. Just keep chasing it down. And keep sieging their stuff. Eventually they will not want to fight anymore. We're kicking their ass. Discipline. Honestly, right now, manpower is better. Retake that. Keep them on the cuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, they don't want to fight anymore. We might be able to get some money out of them. That'll be helpful. War reparations. Yep, we need money. And all of your ducats. If you're up for it, transfer your trade too. I don't know how much it'll help me, but, you know, do it. No, so that'll just strengthen the damn Ottomans. Yeah, that's all we can do. Return a core. Maybe one that's actually on the border with him. There you go. That weakens one enemy, strengthens me financially. What about Kazakh? They, they're only mediums, so they might not be willing to actually leave yet. No, they're not. But that's alright, they're small. Like I said, they're not a big deal. Alright, Great Horde, so same deal as before. I also really want all their money. But then I want territory more than money. 66 ducats and this. Or should I go like this and War Parade? I should probably do that. Honestly, I need the money. And that's still a lot of territory. Now let's use our admin tech. Ideas. Uh, we're way ahead for military, so let's get the leadership shock. Yeah, you get back there, you go back to the capital. Oh yeah, and uh, start diplo annexing this guy, as well as not boosting relations anymore. So then we can get these guys, Bluzaru or whatever their name is, back under our control. Multiple forts. Still one docket over, that's alright. Wait till we get back. Oh no, we are back. Lower that. Now we're making good money again. And now we wait. We're always struggling a little bit for money as Russia. National tax modifier, yes. So there you go, all these areas are becoming our provinces. Put a diplomatic spin on it. Integration process slowed or didn't slow, we finished it. Delete their armies, we don't have to spend as much. Ah, Sweden wants us to support their independence now, we will do it. We will do it. Are you going on independence? It's only supported by me, so right now it would be a war between Musk, uh, Denmark and me. Oh yeah, I should also repay that loan. <laughs> Loans. Repay that one first. And repay that one. There we go, now we're on 10 ducats. Now I believe, yeah, Tembov. That's the one that we need. I'm pretty sure, hang on, the missions. Because Tambov, it's Tame the Steps. Owned by Muscovy, one of the following must be true, is orthodox, or is of Muscovite culture. Ah, uh, I thought it was Tambov we needed, but it's Penzia, which Kazan has. Although we could reconquest Perm. That might actually be worth doing. End of the War of the Roses. 
can send out another one of these to do that. So yeah, England's being kicked off the continent again. France is growing. Burgundy still looks pretty strong. Paris is being burned by Savoy, somehow. Although Savoy is also being burnt by France. Seems fair to me. Seems like the Ottomans and Hungarians didn't really pull off a lot with that war. They just seem to have stopped the Ottoman advance. Although, in saying that, the Ottomans are expanding into my territory. I don't like that. Get out of my land. Gain 10... Oh, nearly bankrupts me, but it puts me up to 100 prestige. Um, the next tech gives us courthouses. Honestly, not that big a deal. Let's, let's get tolerance to the true faith. We're also working towards army tradition... Missionary strength, seat of the Metropolitan Bishop. That'll be nice. Now Kazan's invading them. Ah, oh, let's... Oh yeah, we can just go to war with Kazan, I forgot. So you guys, are we not in truce anymore? I thought we were in a truce till like, another year or two. Apparently not. Well, let's finish them. Because of course Novgorod is our number one enemy right now. Their war. And war taxes. Not even close to enough. Honestly, mothball the forts while we're at war, because then we can just barely afford it. I'm also going to lower the missionaries just enough to put me in the positive so I'm not losing money while at war. You can always put it back after the war. Privileges. Chase down those Novgorodians. Oh, looks like we got them. Oh, their army nearly got us, actually. That was that was close. But we just wiped them out. That's the end of Novgorod. We're gonna fully annex them now. Recruit time down by 10%, sure. We get a 5% discipline just straight up across the board after this. That'll be nice. That'd be real nice. Oh! And the Swedish independence movement started and I didn't even realise. Oh shit. Um, I tell you what. Oh my god. Can I not afford to fully annex them yet? I'm taking Novgorod itself. Leave them with one province and we'll have to go to war again for that. Oh, that's four wars to take them out, but I guess it's worth it. Oh, God, now we got to fight this war, but we're close to 30 minutes. You know what? I'm going to end part two here. Actually, hang on. No, I'm not. We're going to quickly deal with these rebels first. Oh, yeah, we're not at war, so mothball the forts. There we go. Rebels dealt with. We'll also wait just to press this button. And as soon as we get this one, bam. Alright, thank you for watching part two. We will return with more Rise of Russia in just a few minutes. Or the next part, whatever you guys see this, depending on the upload order.